Hey hey, how's it going? Welcome back, welcome in. My name is Kurigan K, and let's start an epic story today. Um, yeah. Oh wait, <laughs> I totally forgot to um tweet out. So let me do that. Um, there we go. I've I've actually pre-wrote what I wanted to tweet and was waiting for myself to go live before I press the post button but anyway um yeah I'm gonna say sorry in advance because my neighbors might be hammering or drilling they stop now so I hope they won't continue but we never know right anyway um yeah also, I'm really nervous to start this game, honestly. Um, I... Okay, I do have to preface, I guess. I've not watched the show. And I've not uh, fully watched a playthrough of these. I did watch a couple of clips here and there. So I don't exactly know what's coming. Or how the story is going to go. But what I do know is that we're going to follow... Um, I guess her name is Clementine. Clementine? Clementine? I don't know. This little girl. And I guess it's a story throughout the whole... Um, game? Series? Yeah. Also, this is kind of like a... Iconic game right because they pretty much brought back point and click choose your own adventure kind of games right and also they started this whole uh what was it um episodic game right so yeah i do yeah i really am interested in this uh okay let me get the audio on uh, that should be fine. That should be fine. Bitrate. Oh, bitrate seems to be red. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, maybe let me try pushing it down a bit. Seems weird. Yeah, I don't know. Also, <laughs> you might be hearing thunder uh, in the background because it's probably going to start to rain soon. I heard thunder a while ago so I don't know if it's still going uh, let me see let me see is the bit rate fixed okay it's kind of green now oh that is weird it's lower than what I put ah <sighs> okay so apparently that's not exactly fixed maybe I should just re-roll back to like an older OBS version because ever since I updated to the uh, latest one right I keep getting these issues so I'm not sure if it's to do with the OBS or like something else because everything else is pretty much the same but yeah we'll go with a lower bit rate for today uh, hopefully that will work all right, uh, yeah, I guess we head into the game and see this time. You should be hearing the mu music, no, the game audio. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Oh my goodness. I don't really know how long. Ooh. Yeah, this is the first one, right? This is season two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I guess this is Clementine. Clementine. So, we are following her story, right? She's growing up. Not sure who this is. And final season. I guess this is, yeah, another character. So, yeah. Uh, as the world ends, Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. Clementine? Clementine? 
We'll see. I'm guessing there would be voice acting, right? So they would pronounce this for me. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh. Okay. I thought my game crashed. <laughs> that would be one way to start this series. Oh. Oh. I see. So itch. Okay. Let's check the settings. Because I had no idea. Wait, is it too loud? It does seem a bit loud, huh? Let's bring the sound down a bit. Is it still annoying? Okay, this might not be that piercing now. Okay, I think I'll stick with this. Music, okay, maybe we can go a bit lower, but voice I'll keep it up. So we can actually hear. Alright, wait, gameplay. Subtitles on. Oh, what's this? Detect selectables. Let's put it on. Story notifications. Mouse sensitivity, well, it seems alright, so I guess we'll stick with that. Story notifications. What does this mean? Let's turn it on, just to see. Okay. I'll get all the help I need, because this kind of, I mean, it affects the storyline, right? If you choose like a bad action, I guess, it would affect what happens. And I don't really want to kill any character. Yeah, so yeah, let's go. Ooh, okay, uh, choose a display style, standard. More help from UI and feedback when you make important choices. Minimal. Oh, turn off UI hints, help and choice notifications. You know what? Let's go standard. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll do standard. Episode 1. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's like 5 episodes in season 1. So yeah, let's get to it. Ooh. Also, I have my heart rate on for this series adapts. See, it adapts and it tailors to how you play. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Oh. A new day. I've had the hat. Oh, wait. Is this Lee? Why is he captured? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, use the mouse wheel on number keys. Okay. Oh, there's a... Okay. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the... I didn't do it. Um... What do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. So I am going to prison. We got what looks like a 1091E near Peak 285. All cars that okay. to look out for oh. 91D in the area. I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. You from Macon then? You're from Macon then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like murder that case? Like that mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. Wait, what? A real shame, that is. Oh. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. 
good. He advised uh, medical personnel en route to Hartsfield, very intense. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. <laughs> okay. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Go Wait, I'm a teacher. Year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Oh, okay. Wait, there's a lot of cops heading that way. Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh, oh, she married the wrong guy. Mm. <sighs> okay. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. A helicopter. What? I guess it's starting then. I'm driving this man once. Oh. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Oh, and you before turn long it off. he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my Ooh. car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Okay. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Hmm. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing oh. and a bit more hilarious um, if I do say so. Watch out! This other time we... Hear me over that. <laughs> that might be a bit too loud, right? Oh, what? And I've still got cuffs on me as well. That sounded squishy. I guess I'm kind of protected in this car at the moment. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Okay. Oh. Great, 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 great. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! I... Yeah, I don't think he's alright, judging from <laughs> the way his body is. Also, was the, was the game sound too loud? Shotgun. What the hell did he have his gun out? So something happened, huh? We started then. Well, I guess I... Yeah, kick it. Alright. Uh, let me check the audio. Maybe I should bring it down a bit. Yeah. Maybe this one. The voice was okay, right? Or should I bring it down a tiny bit? Let me do that and we'll see if it works. This one still seems pretty loud. Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Resume. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... Somehow Lee is... I'm assuming this is Lee, right? He's on his way to prison. He was a teacher. 
I guess he's caught for murder because the court keeps talking about uh, husbands murdering their wives, right? Okay, let's just go. We need to get out. Drag myself out that window. Yeah, and head over to the cop. Look at the door to select an action. I need to drag myself out that window. Select an action. Who? Yeah, we need to go over to the court to get the uh, keys from them. Ow, that, that's gotta hurt. I wonder how deep our injury is. Injury? Deep? Um, rather, how uh, bad our injury is. Should I take the shotgun? The officer's shotgun is over there. Can I grab it though? Looks empty. Oh, it'll be what? easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay, fine. What's this though? Shotgun shell. Okay. That's some strong uh <laughs> squat there. Look at the Officer, God are you okay? Damn. I liked your stories. Uh oh. Yeah. He's a goner, huh? Okay. Let's get this off. Shit. Uh oh. Will he suddenly. Okay. Oh. Okay. Why game? Why do you have to do that? Oof. Uh oh. Officer? No, 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 no. Holy shit! Wah, 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 Gun, 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 Oh shh! Grab it! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Please! 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 Okay. 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 Man. Oh! Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking, right? That sound probably attracted. A lot. Goodness, am I gonna die now? I hope not. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Hmm, I wonder. Is the sound still a bit too loud? I might have to turn down the volume. A bit more again. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, they might break down the fence. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing the sound. Yeah, I tracked them. Alright, good, 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 good. 
Whew, we're safe for now. Who's the little girl though? Hello? Anybody? Um You probably shouldn't shout. <laughs> That's the voice. Whoop. Oh, this is the starting screen. Nice. Okay. Let me uh let me check this. Game audio. Okay, let me try maybe this. Close. Yeah. It did look like it peaked quite a bit. So I'm just gonna turn down the audio a bit. Hopefully it should be a bit better. I'm walking so slowly though. I guess yeah. Cause I'm injured, right? That's fine. There is that girl. Help! Oh shh. Please don't. What was this? I wonder if anybody's home. Hmm. We can try it later. There's like stuff for me to see here. Tea Give set. One of those teacups with some bourbon, if I could. <laughs> oh, talk to Treehouse. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Somebody, yell if you can hear me. Oh, the talk option disappeared. What? Oh wait, it's still there. Anybody up there? I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Let's try the house then. Maybe the little girl ran back into the house. Is there anybody here? I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if it's unlocked. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Oh. Open. Okay. Oh. Coming in. It is unlocked. Don't shoot, okay? We need to find a first aid kit. Ah, shit. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Okay. These people might need more help than I do. Maybe. So there's definitely a kid around. I'm guessing it is the house of the little girl. Which looks like the little girl that we are helping, right? So I'm guessing that is Clementine. Clementine? Clementine. Oh. Hello. Bowl of fruit. Is that real? Fake. Fake. Damn. Okay. Oh, that's not... That's not a good sign. Oh, Jesus. Wait. What's that beeping? <laughs> Whoops. That's footsteps, right? Open cabinet. It looks like someone's hiding in there. Maybe. Uh, okay, open that. Oh. A walkie-talkie. Just one, though. Mm, note. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay, so the parents... Marshalls. Okay, that's whoops. That's a Savannah area code. No, 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 no. We know, we know. You'd leave a babysitter. I thought that was a different note. Okay. Oh. Uh, 
I'm just opening up all the... <laughs> I'm guessing the uh, voice message thingy is going to progress the story. So that's why I'm just checking everything out. Okay, nice. Oh, what's that? This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Oh. Really? Why didn't anyone take the walkie-talkie? I guess there's no point if it's just one. There are three new messages. Nothing in there. Okay. Oh, I can't... Okay. I thought I had to, like, open it. Because I thought she was inside here. Based on, like, the footprints. Hmm. Maybe not then. Okay, don't think there's anything else around here I can check out. That's the answering machine. What about this? God. It's paintings. A kid lived here. Yeah, Clementine. Uh, cable's out. Cable is out. So we got no news. Should I listen to this or should I have a gander upstairs? Oh wait, that's not the stairs. That's a bookshelf. French overturned blood everywhere. Jesus. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we can go up. That's fine. Yes, we. Yeah. Talk to this. Maybe there's something on there. Messages. Message Go ahead. One, left at 5.43 p.m. Alright. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Uh-oh. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oof. That is heavy. Daddy? Oh. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are, Are you okay? okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Okay. Very clever. She's probably in a treehouse, right? Uh, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is Clementine. my house. Hi, right. Clementine. I'm Lee. Uh, how, how old are you? you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Did they get you? I I'm sorry. I'm here. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Uh, where, where are, are you? I'm outside in my tree house. Ah. I can't get in. Yep. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Hello. <laughs> oh. 
Oh shit. I'm guessing that's the babysitter. Oh, uh, I hate button presses. <laughs> I hate button presses. Okay, I think we're good. Man. Hi there. <sighs> Did you kill it? I think so. Uh. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No. But they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, so there's at least I want my parents to come home two now. days that it happened, right? I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh, get out of here once the sun goes down. Look for help before it gets dark. We need yeah. to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's yeah. Go. Stay close I think to they me. would be more awake at night, maybe. It's way too quiet, right? Clementine, could you dress, dress, change your clothes, maybe get like jeans and long shirt, long shirt, long sleeve shirt or something. You're too unprotected like that from the weather elements, right? Okay, let's go open the gate. Because I've checked here, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Alright. Oh, oh, man. Hello. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Should we talk to them? I think for now should be okay. Because it's at the... It's at uh, a timing where it just started, right? So everyone wouldn't turn against each other yet. I'm guessing. Oh. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Uh, I won't, I won't leave you alone. Leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? Yeah. That's a good idea. That's the idea. Thank you for the follow. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. <laughs> uh, we need looking help. for help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Atlanta. Sean Green. Lee. Okay. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Her uncle. Uh... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. 
Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Okay, I guess we got no choice. Wow, I'm pretty strong considering my injured leg. <laughs> oh, oh, one more, one more. Okay. Oh, she's helping. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Oh no. More? No. Okay. Go, 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 go. Ooh, chat's pretty what nice. Are those guys neighbors too. Maybe I should have chosen something else. Because it might be suspicious that I'm a neighbor. Um, I don't know. I forgot what the other choices were. <laughs> Love your avatar. Thank you, Jinky. Thank you for the compliment. I was a bit distracted, as you can tell, I suppose. Okay, we're on a farm, huh? I'm getting nervous. I don't know why. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Okay. Thank I'm feeling God you're scared. Okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh, yes. Uh. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Oh, actually. Yes. Okay then. Well, yeah, that's a valid question. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Why, thank you very much. Uh-oh, why Let's did he look. shake his head? Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Uh, could be worse. Could, could be, be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't. <laughs> it's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel. Wait, isn't this? How'd this happen? Uh, car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Uh. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Uh... Uh-oh. Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. Uh-oh. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah. Uh, your, your son, son is right. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Well, Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Yeah, uh... Teenage girl Ooh. with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. 
Well, no. do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. I wanted to, to pick the, the, can help out yeah. in the morning. I wanted to pick the it. other one. Really? I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards uh... Macon, I suppose. All right, then. Okay. I don't know about that. I feel like, yeah, he's it being suspicious like of us, right? You know. I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I know you do. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Probably take a plane, right? But we need to head to Marriott? Was that where the mom oh. Yeah, what's his backstory, right? What happened with his wife? Um, he doesn't seem- and he's hey, a teacher as well. Doesn't Ooh. seem like- What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence! There's a tractor and everything! Kenny! We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Uh... Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? <laughs> I see. Okay. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh... I'll also I'll go. What the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build True. a fence! Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. What? I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. I'm... I don't know. I guess because I didn't watch the series, right? So I'm kind of confused at what's going to happen. Right? Like... I don't know who's the good people and who's the bad people, but I'm pretty sure these characters are in the series as well. I mean the TV show. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Ooh. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Uh, I need a hand. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Sure. Should I be... Helping the other guy. My Whoops. dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. 
Just shot him right in the face. Uh. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pull the trigger? Fuck that, man. Oops. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't that is true, like though. Think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Yep. Uh. uh. Sometimes it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about There your, is some truth to that, though. Uh. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Okay. Yes, we... Yeah. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay. Good luck with that. Oh, okay. I guess I can't. All right. Wonder if there's any secrets around here. <laughs> okay. Probably not. So let's check out um Katya. Seems like those two are good. Why did I cut out like that? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey, hey there, girls. Uh you two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Ooh. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, <laughs> yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Past three days, okay. So, um, how's the how city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Oof. Hey, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Yeah. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be. Providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. That's being Your way too is yep. refreshing. optimistic. New. These past couple days at least. So what do you so, do? Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I'm a teacher. We used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Well, uh, uh my mistake. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Oh, I. Yeah, I just noticed. I said I used to. Because I probably was fired from my teaching job if I'm heading to prison, right? Hmm, okay. Wait, wasn't there a. I thought I saw something pop up. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, hello, Kenny. How's it going? Oh. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, need, need any, any help? help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh... 
I, I have no idea. I do what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. Thank you. How's your son doing? Good, I think. kachi has got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought Ooh. he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. All right. That's good to know. So what's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got oh. a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. His boat might be a good place to survive for a bit, right? But then again, um, I don't know if Kenny's a good person. He seems that way, but I'm really uh, being suspicious of everyone right now. Hello, Herschel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Whoops. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh... I got a ride right. and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Yeah, it was brought I up do. To? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Well, uh... My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now At you've least got this little some girl to take care of. Decency, Clementine, isn't I it? guess. You just stumbled up on her? Uh. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Ooh. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the? Uh-oh. What? Go! I'll get my gun! What? 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 What's going on? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! I- I gotta save Duck! He's a little boy! Okay, come on. Can we save? Can we save the other guy? This tractor off of me! Please help me, please! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> 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 I... I... Yeah. I don't know if I made the right choice. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! 
And you! You didn't even try to help. I tr I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! I guess that's fair. Oof. You've got okay. that ride to making if you want it. Yeah, I. Uh, I feel like this is one or the other, right? Man, yeah, that was tough. That was tough. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. I'm guessing we we have to walk to Macon. Maybe. Ooh, Look! this is a wreck, man. Um, hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Nope. Fuck! You folks should learn not to shout. Oh. No! 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 Oh. Oh. Hey. Run! That tiny lock, though, will it stop everyone? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Uh-oh. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. True. Worse, they but... could let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. <laughs> I'll go out there again in a second. Okay. Then just go! Oh, shoot! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God Ooh. damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. I We're don't know if I should zone. say anything. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic. That's Ooh, for certain. What's your language? Son. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over what? My dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, Oof. stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. We reason with him. At the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody uh -oh. threatens my boy. Everyone, uh -oh. chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Lee, stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, uh, get it. Uh, it's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. Sit down! Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. Oof. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. 
Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Uh... Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Oh. Whoops. Well... Jesus! Clementine! Why am I so slow? Why? 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 Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! Man. Yeah, complaining about everything when there's just one of them in you there. Okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Time to go, though. They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger! That was stupid! That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Heart attack? I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole. It's his heart. <laughs> My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Okay, we'll help them. Uh... There's Good office. probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep yeah. an eye on my dad. Okay. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're it's right. definitely this not. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Oh, so we are in gas. Macon. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Okay. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Ooh, now get Kenny him stepped those pills. up. Nice. Okay, I gotta pause for a second. Wow. I feel like that whole conversation could have gone better. But yeah, I guess that is prime example of how easily I can get overwhelmed when so many information is coming at me at the same time. I got confused who is who, what's going on, what was being said. Whew. That was tough. And I, yeah, it's gonna get tougher, huh? Oh man. All right, all right. <sighs> but it's pretty impressive. Like Kenny just stepped up to, um, you know, everyone, right? I'm assuming 
Larry was the leader or Lily was the leader before this, right? I think that was part of the conversation. <sighs> okay, let's go. Uh, energy bar. Is I'm gonna grab that for now? Uh. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh, she's retiring. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. Oh. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What are you working on, though? Doi? <laughs> what are you working on, though? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, I thought... I thought I was asking her about her... Uh... Investigation. It's probably batteries. Yeah. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find <laughs> some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? It's just batteries, though. That's weird. Um, I think I should keep the energy bar for now. Just in case Larry needs it, right? To recover his strength. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. <laughs> we can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh... Well, huh. No? Not now. Uh, not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. Sure. The IT guy. The IT IT guy. <laughs> okay. Right, let's try and find a way. Oh, food box. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Oh, Clementine. <gasps> I can give hey the there. bar to her. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll Ooh. see about that. So we give it to her. Okay. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, we are so awkward good. with each other. Good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll yeah, we time. need to break the ice. Okay. Somehow. Okay, can I give her the bar? It's not yes. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Okay, nice. Um, what's the pills over are there? there? Okay. Uh, examine. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. This is the toilet, or was it restroom? The restroom. How do we? Oh, there's another energy bar. Okay, let's grab that. Okay. Oh, I guess that. Right. <gasps> there's more. You didn't see this. I'm just, you know, don't worry about we it. Can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know. Oh, I, I can give to the kid. Okay. It's all melted now. I can't talk to him. Oh, I talked to them. Okay, okay. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. He says the guy <laughs> didn't get punched in the mouth. Whoops. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky yeah, as it hell has nobody to be a got shock. nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's, She's good, good, I think. I think. 
She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. True. That's a good point. That's the What's plan. the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's yeah. Right. I don't know where, where they are. Should we go looking for them? Ah. They uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Sure. Oh. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Uh. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? You didn't. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We, we could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice to kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Yeah. Console. Try to let it go. I wonder, yeah, he seems like a good person, right? Can he? We just Can I need give to get the... back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay, I still have Try one left. Perfect. All right. How can I with those things out there? I'll talk to Jim. Oh, I can. <sighs> How's he doing? I'm not sure. I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. Sorry about it. I panicked. Um... What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Uh, he's, he's got, got a temper. temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't mean it. It's just that. Yeah. We've got kids here, families. Mm, never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Uh, you're, you're from, from her. here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know. Oh. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. Okay. You? I work up at UGA. Uh, what's Ah, uh, yeah, I do need to find out about my family, right? Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Uh-oh. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah. I did. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Okay. What do you think about all this? It's what probably his think? parents. The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more more of them. I mean, Jesus. 
We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. I'm... Uh, is that... Is that going to be another energy bar though? Should I give it to them? Or like give it to the... Uh, the other two? The... The, the reporter person. I do need to find batteries as well. You know what? Yeah. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Yeah, Don't we gotta get her, or rather, get them onto our side for now. Alive inside. What are we gonna find? <sighs> oh, I don't think Clementine knows that it's Lee's I parents. I can't think about them in here. Oof. Should I talk to her? How you doing? Okay. Everyone seem okay to you? Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on him. And there yeah. was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. I did. I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'll try. I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean get the dangerous ones yes of course good uh have, have you heard, heard from, from glenn? glenn not in a little while okay i'm gonna keep looking around okay <sighs> all right oh a pole Oh, a cane. What's that, that could be useful. Wait, That's is this his? Ah. Uh, he zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool, like you with your hat. My dad <laughs> gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. You keep that hat. Okay, I'm not gonna use the cane then. Oh, I guess actually I'm walking pretty all right, huh? All right. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. Oh. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. I see. Clear a path. Clear a path. Huh? Oh. <gasps> first aid kit. First aid kit. Hey. I'm just looking. First Can I open kit. it? <laughs> okay. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was her. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Oh, yeah. What There's about a photo? A photo? Oh. There's a photo over there. Yeah. Oh, that's his brother as well. Yeah, you keep that photo. Find anything? Ooh. Yeah. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This oh. is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh... No. no. Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. 
You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Okay. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you for that. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yeah... I had a feeling she kinda... Oh, hang on, what? Now I can use it? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. <laughs> Luckily. What? Okay. Um, I guess, yeah, alright. This door leads to the back alley. Yeah. Nothing but to move this, I Better guess. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about okay. everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. That's nice optimism. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? Nope. No. You don't have a family? Uh. Hmm. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Kinda. Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Uh... Alright, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Well... Um... Ooh... Mm, should I tell her the truth, though? I wouldn't blame them. So I guess he did actually kill the senator person. Because he was cheating. Or rather, his wife was cheating with him. Life sentence though. Should I tell her the truth? Uh, I wouldn't blame them. Yeah, let's go this. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Uh... Oh, should I tell her? I, uh... I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. So yeah, it was on purpose. I thought like he would Ow! be... Ooh! Innocent. <gasps> Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. And that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. First aid. Oh. Open drawer. Are there... There should be... Yep. Yeah. Hey, okay. Oh, what's that? TV. Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Okay. Probably in the drawer then. Let's, uh... Settle Let's this first. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Put a bandit on. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Hehehe. 
There we go. So she got an injury on her finger. Me? And I got yeah. one on my leg. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, they'll find us. I don't think they will. Me? Ooh. Oh. I asked you a question. <laughs> so pushy. Um, good thing there's no timer here. Man, I don't know. All right. Kayla, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. There we go, the remote. I'm gonna... Uh... It's the remote to my dad's TV. Leave this for later. That's what I figured. Okay, so there's nothing. I guess like things are really cut off then. Wait, can I search again? Can I get more? Luckily there's nothing I need in here. Ah, okay. That's fine. Okay, let's How's your finger? Uh How's sure. Your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. All right. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Let's head on in then. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry. It's oh. locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. The keys. They dragged. They dragged my dad out, right? So the keys is gonna probably to be on them. Okay. Lee? Can we ask? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was I did. That because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Maybe I should open the door to the alley. Wait, can I ask- Hey there! Oh. This is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay. Looks like we're on a rescue mission. Um... Where are the keys? Where did they move the... Oh. Where did they move the body to, right? They gotta have moved it outside. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, so I've... Can't give them. Can I give? Oh, hang on. There's stuff here. I don't remember them very well. Oh, 
Okay. <gasps> Batteries! So I do need to, like, explore the store a bit more. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guy. <laughs> I guess, yeah. It's probably good to still have, like, a sense of humor. Okay, I need one more. One more battery, right? Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. No foot box. Uh, battery, battery, battery. He said I need two, right? Mm, is there any around here that I missed? Can I head in here? Oh, I can. Oh, there's a battery here. Nice. Okay, so now we give her some food. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? I already gave her good. one. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Okay, and then we give her the battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yep. Nice. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. I wonder if getting this to work is the right... <sighs> Nothing. Option. Bit. Antenna. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Let's let me do that again. You didn't see it. Okay. The battery should be in, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Plus minus. There we go. It should work now. Hello. As the unknown affliction continues to spread on the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station okay. is okay. In the event of a full uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Now. Uh oh. Oh. God bless you all. That doesn't sound good at all. Yikes. Okay. Hey, Carly. Uh, that guy, that saved, guy you. saved you. Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Uh, nothing. Parent's basement? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Uh, are you okay? Your sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Um... You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Oof. Okay. Hey there. Yep, let's head out. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Um, should I check? I'm- okay, my conundrum right now is if I go for this, right, will I still be able to get the option of finding the key to the pharmacy? Or will I just, you know, cut off that route right now? 
in a minute. Okay, let me know. Okay, wait. Let me check the... Can I open the door to the... Uh, alleyway? Oop, got stuck. Yeah, let's open the door to the alleyway and see. <sighs> the bodies are dragged out this way though. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, hang on. What? I can't... I guess, yeah, I can't access that anymore. Huh? Hello? <laughs> uh, uh. I'm doing a little dance. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, let's. Yeah, never mind. Can I grab the cane? No, oh, that's the door. Yeah, I don't think I can grab the cane. Okay. Uh, let me talk to Clementine. Oh, just how's your finger? Looking around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's head on out then. I wonder if looking through the... <sighs> okay. I wonder if I get... Oh, it still hurts your finger. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought I would have to tell her, like I'm heading out for a while, you know. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Oh, it's dark. Jesus. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. I think I'm gonna be sick. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Remote. Oh. I can't reach that brick. We shouldn't be talking out here, right? Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. And they weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Oh, they weren't on. Okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Hmm... Uh, how'd you end up here? How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time on the computer. No, just doing my own thing. Oh, what about you? Uh, I knew some, some folks, folks here. here. Seem like as good a place as any. Oh, friends, family, they around? No, they're family, not around. But it doesn't seem like it. Can give him the remote. What? Think you can do anything with this? Yeah, I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. <laughs> You're a strange guy, Doug. Yeah, kind of strange. All right, I can't reach that. Can't reach that brick. Uh. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough, I think. 
Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Not for long though, I think. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Let's go back Let's inside. Get back inside. Okay. Seems that I can't grab the brick. Oh, I can't ask him to grab it for us, so I don't know. Okay, so we can't find the keys that way. Alright, I guess it's time to go. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep, yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's go. Ah, the alleyway. Alright. These are not on the old couple. Hmm. Shit. Get down! Ooh. Where did... Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready oh. to shoot. I think he might be there. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Oh, <laughs> I'm saving her with or without you. Think about well, it, it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> well, yeah. We have to save her. Who knows? She might have uh, some skill that we need, right? But it really is dangerous, though. Okay, this is the plan. I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Um. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. We can hide by that pickup. Hmm. The girls behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Okay. Oh man. She, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. I feel like we probably should go to the, to the truck because there's one right here right there's a few there so it's probably gonna be hot going this way yeah i feel like this is the better choice oh oh yeah, yeah okay Oh, I'm not sure if we should. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front.
Okay. Going up and going on the right brings me to this. Pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah, we have to get it quietly. How do we do that though? Oh, open door? Oh, of course. Why would why would it be that easy, right? Um There's a pick in the truck. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? They are groaning attracts the others. There's a pick in the truck. Hmm. Should I break it though? Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay, yeah. How, how, how? Brick wall. Can I use my remote? He's not going anywhere. To troll? Like, how do I use my items? Maybe I can throw the remote there to draw the attention away, right? I guess you really got no choice. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. How do I get it quietly? That's the issue. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Okay, so I can't punch the windows. Can't open the door. Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? Yeah. Hey, maybe I just have to Let's go back. back. To Safe there. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna notice me, right? If I go there all right let's just do it Ooh. <sighs> okay i think We're that's safe here except for carly's gun and we can't use that much uh okay I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Even if this I one there. Hmm. This is not a good. Yeah. Let's go back. Okay, I'm stuck now. Right? How do I? They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. Hmm. How Can are you I going borrow to kill the gun? One by the car without attracting the others. Borrow the gun and try and knock out the window. How do I use the remote? Mm. Yeah, I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> this, uh, I don't think this is the license plate, right? Just a car plate, I guess, because the license plate is like right there. <laughs> yep, yeah, it happens. Okay, going up also does that. Yeah. Where do I go from here? something with that car I bet if it weren't for that fella lurking near the front hmm 
there anything else I can look? Or did I miss something? Oh man, I really have no clue. The moment we head towards that car, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Their groaning attracts the others. The moment we head towards that okay. car, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? Yeah. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? I really want to use the remote. How do I use those items? No. That's not it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. I can't select them. <laughs> this is one of those things, right? Uh, you know you've uh, tried it already, but you still try it again, thinking that it might change. Hmm. There's nothing. Yeah. Should I go back to safety then? Oh no no. So this is just oh. oh I can't see okay I need to yeah We should keep looking around for weapons The longer you're unarmed the more nervous I get Let's go check out that truck under the awning We should keep looking around for weapons There's a truck over there Maybe we can find you a weapon Want to head over to the right <laughs> Okay so they're cluing me to go to the right but... Oof. <clears throat> How do I break the window? Hmm... There's nothing down here that I can see. How are you going see. to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? How are you going to kill that one okay. by the car without attracting the others? Their groaning attracts the others. The moment we head towards that car, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Their groaning attracts the others. The moment we head towards that car, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Yeah, so we need to get a weapon first before we can... I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. And I can't punch it. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Or the door. So what do I do here? I'm I'm really stuck. I I have no idea. And I can't really hit to the right, because that's apparently brings me here. Mm, is this a bug? I'm done trying to punch out windows. If only I have that brick, right? I don't think I can hit back though. <gasps> what should I do? Oh no. Am I am I gonna go to Google to see what I'm supposed to do? Wait, let me see if there's anything else I missed. Don't think there is any... Yeah... It's just dead, huh? Oh, Yeah, it's just a zombie. That's the brick wall. This is just He's zombie. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, it looks like I have to do a little Google. Or a little Googling. Uh, let's see, let's see. Man, this is slightly annoying. Because I 
pretty much checked everywhere, right? A walking dead uh car? No 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 game <laughs> It's showing me the wrong results. Uh Episode one. Episode one. Okay, let's see the walkthrough. I'll try to uh, look through it like not so close. Okay, chapter two. Mm -hmm. Tough decision. I didn't really see much. Motel. Oh. Lean to the left and picked up the pillow. There's a pillow. I guess that's what I was missing. Okay, let me check. Ah, I do see it now. Okay, that. Yeah, okay. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Yeah, okay, we got it, we got it. We should be good now. Okay. Let's go. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> What are you gonna do with that? Wait, what? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Wait, what? Okay, apparently I need to read further. <laughs> uh. Oh. So I got the wrong idea. I thought I had to put the pillow there, right? And then I try smashing it. But no, I do this. Interesting. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Uh oh. Oh, apparently that worked. Okay, I see. Oh, spark plug. Like plug. I guess I'll take it. Is there anything else here? Oh. It's a sparky thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Okay. That guy by the wall over there, I bet. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. Uh okay. Are we pushing? Yeah, I guess we're pushing. Oh, there's an X there. Was awesome. Oh, I do hear the crying. Okay. Oh, spot plug. Maybe I. There's a pick in the truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I use the spot plug to. Wait. What? Let me see the spark plug. Okay, What's sure. Inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay, I guess that worked. Oh my goodness. Nice. 
that could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Indeed, we got it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh. Okay, hang on. I guess I hit that weed in. Maybe I get rid of this one. Okay, we got one more there. Can I? Yes. I'll wait for him to get closer. Okay, I think that went pretty well. Don't mind. Oh, I can't, huh? Alright then. Goodbye. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Yeah. Are you two done? Where is. Where is Glenn's weapon, though? Why is it only me <laughs> that has to do all this, right? Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Like, I'm the one injured, right? <laughs> Why do I have to do everything? Okay, looks like I'm going. Oh no, 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 come on, come on, come on. I can do this, I can do this. I just need to aim properly. Oof. Rad. Oh my goodness, Glenn scared me. I thought there was another zombie like right behind me. <sighs> Breakdown. Um Yes, Johnny. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I wonder though, maybe she's bitten. That's why she wants to lock herself. You might want to break through that board first. It's so dark, I can't even see anything. Yeah, you can't really see anything on the stream as well, right? Graphics. Is there brightness? Game brightness. Let's go. I don't know if this is gonna flash it out too much though. We'll try, we'll try. Yeah, I can't see anything at all. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Stop, just stop! I'm coming out. Okay. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Yeah, Guys, she's bitten. She's been bitten. What? Yep. I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. No wonder she's crying. You have a boyfriend? Like, Glenn, 
I don't want that. <laughs> it's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. All right. Okay. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Uh... Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Then shoot her. Yep. Yep. Then shoot her. Huh? I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things. Shoot her. Help her out here. You're insane. Just take this thing. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? I want to go back. Somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm I'll here with you. with you. You're a good man. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right choice, but. She doesn't want to turn into one of those things, right? And none of them want to shoot a person Everyone that's still right? conscious. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Well, I do have a... X now. Maybe I can break down the door. Um, okay. I think I've checked out... Oh, there's more here. Oh, I think this is his dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe I can grab the brick now with my axe? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, let's take let's that. Let's have a look around. Okay. I feel like we need everything we can get, right? I can't reach that brick. What? I still can't reach it, huh? Let's head back inside. Okay. I thought I could use like the um, back of the axe to like bring it closer so that I could grab it. Apparently not. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's talk to her. Are you gonna be okay? Sorry to. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. <laughs> That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, hey. by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. What did she say? I forgot. Ah, <sighs> all right. Oh. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Um. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy. Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. 
You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for Glenn. Yeah. The thing is, once you get bitten, right? That's the end of you, right? At least that's how this uh zombie timeline goes. So Yeah, she pretty much accepted her fate for turning. And I think she saw the gun and thought of it as a good way to be able to finish herself off, I guess. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Yep. Okay, so he does know the Everett's. But he doesn't know that I'm... Yeah, I'm Lee Everett. I wonder if he will know later on. Mm. Okay. How are you doing? You, Just uh, want to check. Don't talk too much. That's not a bad thing. Okay. Yeah, looks like I got to, yeah, break it down this way. <laughs> oh, doesn't seem like it's working, huh? Keys it is, I guess. Yeah, okay. So how do I find the keys though? They've searched everywhere here. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector at least. Yep. Okay. Wait, that's a... Oh, that's the first aid kit. I'm... Yeah, I'm stumped. Again. When am I not, right? How's your finger? Okay. Okay. Maybe I... Break down the toilet? Yeah, I can't access the alleyway back there because it doesn't give me a chance to go in there. Uh, where's the toilet? Oh, I'm going to the front now. <laughs> it's fine. We'll take a walk. Okay, can I? Oh no, it's just talking to Glenn. I can't break it down. I'm definitely missing something. I feel like that brick has something to do with it though. But I can't seem to... Uh... Take it. There's nothing on this area. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think Duck might be traumatized because of what he experienced. So he's being really quiet right now. Life inside. I don't think I can talk anymore to Lily. Uh, hmm. Uh, foot box. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the brick is the only thing. How do I do? How do I? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, please. Let's have a look around. Oh, I gotta click it. Whoops. Let's have a look around. Okay.
Oh wait, that's a. Oh. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Oh ho ho. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Nice. I think we got it. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Ooh. <laughs> well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Okay. So they're all gonna go over there, right? So maybe I, I can grab the notice. brick now. Oh. But not enough. Not enough. Look at the lock. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Trapped walker. Compare photo. Look at the one trapped over there. Wait. Better him than us, huh? That's my brother. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Ah, oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. <laughs> yeah. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Ah. Prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I can prove it. I'll see what I can the find. photo. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Yeah. It be long, right? Okay. Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's so a that's why we got to buy you some time. Yeah. Do that, huh? Can't reach that brick. Still can't reach that brick. I'm guessing this would be for later. Because once we uh Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Yeah, so we need a brick to Hmm. We should think about searching that guy across the street. We really Maybe should though. Them, but who knows if he actually worked here? Okay, okay, okay. So that's not. It's a combination lock. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Ah. Uh... Also, party to some egregious fire code violations. This is not good. I can't use the X on the lock though. It will make a lot of noise. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise. Oh man. <laughs> did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what I happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I feel like the brick is too bash open this but I can't grab it it's just there come on dog maybe you can grab it okay what if I
Oh. Awesome. Now okay. Those things. I guess that Carefully. worked. I can't reach that brick. Um. Now I can reach it? Okay, now I can reach it. <sighs> Alright, let's do it. Very nice. Let's go, let's go. <sighs> okay, time to... Time to see my brother. Man, Be this careful. is... Keep an eye out, will you? Oof. Yeah, I gotta put him out, huh? Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them through all of it, that helped. I guess. Oh man, this is... This is hard. You still are you still okay I guess you are huh <sighs> now dead dead yeah That's definitely traumatic for him. Imagine doing that there to your... Go. Yeah. Even Holy though it's crap. changed, right? Run! Why? Why do you have to shout? <sighs> we can't close it now though. This is bad. This is very bad. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. <sighs> I guess. Oh man, this is tough. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Yep. Time to get in. Oh. Ah, okay. I guess you should. Oh no. Oh, Crap. We gotta hurry. <laughs> we sounded the alarm. That is bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is that my parents? No. Yes. Why specifically this zombie, right? Oh. Doc, 
Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Okay, I guess it's time. Oh. Hey Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh, thank you. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know! Oh! <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Oh, 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 oh. Are you sure? Oh, oh. Shit! What? Oh, shit! Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Ooh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window is screwed. Go! Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Kill, kill, kill me. Oh. I found something. Oh, nice. Yes, that should work. I hope for now. Maybe. <sighs> okay. No! Get off, get off. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Get them off me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Why? Okay. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. No! Oh my god. Let's go! They got Doug. They... They... You gotta move! That's my mom, right? What? No! Okay. Fine. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, time to go. Okay, that was something. That was something. <sighs> oh, he came back to the motel. Are we gonna burn it? Oh man, Clementine! Oh, seems like Duck is feeling better. And then this one time, Derek and Superdyne showed up and were squiddies. But Derek had an underwater mega laser. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Uh oh. Can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost. Kind of sounds near, right? Okay, time to check in with everyone. Hey, Glenn. I remember when I packed them up. I think I need to go. Oh, why? To Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Really? Mm. 
know how hard it is to keep track of things. Not like we have much to begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, oh, these are going to Yeah, I don't know about it. Uh, I think that's the wrong call. You gotta do what you gotta do. Find your friends. I don't know. I feel like it is the wrong call, but he has to know, right? Um, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Maybe you shouldn't go then. See you around. Yeah, I don't know. Is this the right? <sighs> I hope he'll be fine. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm making a lot of wrong choices. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, yep. about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. All right. Thanks, kid. That's nice to know. You got it. Hey. Mm, I guess I won't need to talk to them. Oh. I'm being funneled this way. So let's come over here, I guess. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that I think that I liked him. Yeah, I'm sure he liked you too. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. All right, I do expect it. Expect? Wait. I do respect it. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Uh, I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. I did. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. You know, my thought process was that she would be able to use the gun to shoot off. Because she's a good shot, right? So, yeah. I don't know. Uh. There's two choices now, right? One was choosing between Duck and Herschel's son. I chose Duck because, like, he's a kid. And, yeah. I don't know. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. You never pay attention to where you leave things. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was you there, did. Though. Yeah. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know yeah. it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. I swear I saw it. Lee, come here for a second. Okay. Let me go What's up? This. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Oh my goodness, Duck. <laughs> what are you doing? You like my daughter? Uh her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. 
You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Okay, so there's someone else. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Can you just look over there? Everything we own would My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Yeah, I did save him. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I suppose. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. Oh. This motor oh, helicopters. pretty damn defendable. Okay. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. All right. Me too. We got beds, okay. we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh? Well... <laughs> uh, we jinxed it, huh? We definitely jinxed it. Okay. Ooh! First episode down. Very nice. Oh, so I how long did we stay here? About the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too um, many of them! Yeah! Ah! 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 Um, You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! No more, please! 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 <laughs> okay. Looks like we got... Yeah, episodes two seems to be ramping up. Okay. Wow. Interesting. 54% of players were honest. I was half honest though, I think. Because Herschel caught me in a lie, right? 52 chose Dark. 54 defended Kenny. 47. Oh. I'm in the minority there. Who would you save? Dark or Carly? 49 chose Carly. <gasps> More chose Dark. Oh, I wonder how that storyline actually pans out. Interesting. Okay, how long? Hmm. Alright. So I kind of took roughly well almost three hours to play one episode hmm i'm not sure if i have time for another episode five six seven eight yeah i might be cutting it hmm i don't know Let's uh, let the credits. Is that going to be an after credit scene? Or did we just see it, right? What's happening next? Hmm. Yeah, that's like, that's like, um, suggestions? No. Uh, decisions that I've done that I probably wouldn't, uh, get the answer to for now. It'll probably take a while for me to see what happens, right? Man, seems like Lily is going against us as well in the next episode. I am not sure. Oh, this is... 
Yeah, this is... Okay. I'm getting pretty pumped up. Dave Fenoy. That name sounds familiar. Isn't that the voice actor for... God of War? The, 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 the main character in God of War? I'm not sure. I could be remembering things wrong. I'm probably remembering things wrong. But oh man. Oh, Telltale Pets. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Franchise owner. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so far, I am really enjoying this game. Even though there's like a lot of um, decision making skills. Skills? Decision making things that runs on timer quite a lot. And I really do quite badly at them. So yeah, I don't know. This is... <sighs> What's the de definitive menu though? Oh no no, it's back to the first. I see, I see. Huh, should I continue playing for a bit? I wonder if it will save. Play? Episode 2, right? No time left. Special episode? Oh. I gotta check out like how the um, game series, as in which one came out first or what. I kinda wanna play along uh, to how it got released. Yeah, I feel like my brightness thing maybe. Okay. I guess let's uh, continue for a bit then. Hopefully, yeah, we'll see how far we can get. Gotta hydrate. Alright. I know who you are. Well, I got another good one for you. Uh huh. Yeah, my brightness is way too high, huh? You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Maybe I shouldn't tell my real name like maybe i should keep it quiet but then we wouldn't get we wouldn't get trust from other people right ah uh, i don't know all right <laughs> it looks so washed out Three months later. So we've been out here for very long, huh? Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, 
You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yep. He does. Uh... Larry's just... Uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily <laughs> thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't well, he punch you in the face one time? He did. Uh, knock me flat. Hmm. Maybe I should change my graphics a bit. I don't know. Oh. Uh, don't risk the noise. Can shadow bring walkers? One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Oh, shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, hey, looks like we are right back into the action. I don't remember how long it was between episodes, right? So people that played this ah! as it comes out, they must have waited for a really long time. Uh-oh. Oof. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Okay. Travis, maybe they can help. These Keep might quiet, be the though. same guys Keep that raided quiet. our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Yeah, we have to help. Ben, shut just keep up. quiet. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Oh, yeah, just get quiet, please. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oof. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, great. Shit, great, great, great. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Okay. Do you think you can get it open? How the fuck do you get these things open? We don't know. <laughs> Lee, do something. It's impossible. It locks or something. Hurry, please. Get me out of uh... this. Please hurry! Do I change. Chopped it. Hurry! Is this happening to us? I'm not sure if this let's will go, work. It's go. probably gonna you have to get him out. blunt. You have to blunt uh, my um axe, right? Oh, like that. Oh, God. To lift Please save You're him. You're not cutting through that. Okay. There has to be a way out of now. this. There's gotta be another way. And I chopped the trap. Somebody do this! Uh, no, no, no! Stop! Damn it, Lee just Fuck. cut off his fucking leg. I want to be something we can do. I'm sorry. We can but smash. We have to go oh, now. Oh God, hurry! Oh man! Can I oh, smash man. it? Ah. This can't be happening. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. He's lost oh. so much blood already. Jesus, Fuck, please hurry up! To walk. Now we gotta go. Oh my God! Oh, God. Am I? There's so many oh, of them. God. Am I really? Please, please, please! Oh Calm Jesus, down, those okay. things are gonna be here soon. Okay. 
Come on, get it off! Is he... Is he gonna make it? Oh my god, I don't... I... I... Oh god, he can't die! This... This... Please, chop the tree? That's way too bad. long. This is so bad. Oh... oh please! Oh, crap! Oh god! I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Come on! We gotta go! Now! No! Uh, no, don't leave me! Damn it, Lee! Uh, I'm sorry. No! We can't leave Mr. Parker like that! Give me the gun! Uh, uh, Give it God to me! Damn it, let Travis! Go. No! No gun! <laughs> Shit! What happened? It was an accident! Oh, God. Grab the kid and keep moving! Come on, move! You can't leave me like this. Please get me out. Yeah, I don't know. I... Yeah. I... Okay. What a starting to episode two. <sighs> That's such a tough choice. I don't think he would. Yeah, I don't think he would. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, that's yeah. Okay. I'm guessing if I cut him out, right, he's gonna continually blame us for doing that. I guess we also took in a bit more people because they are new faces. Oh. It's us, I think. Okay, very nice. That's a signal. Get the quiet. gates open! Oh, We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to well. calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are wow. not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, well hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Yeah, that's true. Um, no? Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. <laughs> come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Yep. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Yeah, Everything I guess Kenny always turns Lily's. into a power struggle yeah. between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it I might feel guess... safe for you to sit on the fence. Uh -oh. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. 
Ooh, I don't see any I don't of know. you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got what? more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Oof, I don't know about it. Okay, then. This is something, huh? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oof. Okay. Yeah, she does have a hot choice. Four food items for ten hungry people. Ooh. Hey, Brembo. How's it going? Oh man, this is gonna be hard. This is definitely gonna be hard. Four food items for ten. Sturdy, but a snack will hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Ooh. Okay, wait. Let me check my graphics a bit. Uh, graphics. Maybe I should bring it back down to six. Yeah, increase. Oh, it crashed? No, wait. Huh? Uh oh. I might have made a mistake. Yeah, it's not moving. My mouse is not moving now. Had the hardest hyperfix on zombie apocalypse AUs for the past few months. Oh, and is the um is the Walking Dead part of it? I've not watched the show, so I'm totally clueless at like what's happening. Let's try this. Ooh, it does look- oh! <laughs> My game stop. Oh, okay, there we go. The Walking Dead is great, I see. I've not watched it, so... I should probably watch it, huh? Oh man, who am I supposed to give the food to? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Uh, what sure. do you need? What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. All right. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. Yeah, well... It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. <laughs> well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Yeah. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. I kind of want to know though, like did she eat before this? Because if she did, right? Ugh, but then, uh, I don't know. Kind of want to be fair, but it's hard to be fair. can see why uh, Lily is having such a hard time. Feed the children first. Uh maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. What's yeah. If everything ends as in if all the supplies are finished, right? What are we going to do? I don't think hunting is a good idea for... I mean, this area probably wouldn't have a lot of animals, right? We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. How are we going to find some, right? Keep an eye out. Fine. Oh. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? 
I don't know. Can you help me find it? Of course. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hmm. I guess I should feed the children first, right? How are you feeling? Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just left Mr. Parker there. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. Yeah, there really wasn't. So who, so are, who you? are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but... Uh, okay. God, I can't believe we left him. How are you holding up? How are you holding up, kid? Probably not uh, good. Well, I... Uh, Two first names. <laughs> that I was what I was thinking. I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. Uh... You did I'm all you sure could. you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Relax. No. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I'm not sure we should so. promise that. I'm not a doctor, so... Uh, uh, yeah, I should give the food to them. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Um... Crackers and cheese? Crackers and yeah. cheese. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! And then I'll give Clementine, because of course... Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Um... I'll give her crackers and cheese as well. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. All right, let's talk to Carly. Uh, Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well... If you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, True. giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? <laughs> okay. You food too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Do the right thing. Is she... Is she asking me to give her food though? Back in a bit. <sighs> oh man. I'm gonna talk to everyone just to see what they say, right? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. It probably is, actually. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters and you stood up to larry at the drugstore i won't forget that you and clem are welcome to come with us that's nice um the coast does sound like a smart idea maybe that is the best thing i know that it is i'm taking my family oh i told okay that might be yeah i forgot his name was duck <laughs> yeah It's pretty funny, huh? Oh, I can't go this way. Wait. Oh, I guess they are at the door. This way? Will you hold oh. the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do uh -oh. you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Wow. Wow. 
He's getting it weak, keeps huh? The walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Mm. Hey, will the kid make it? I don't know. You know it was an accident, right? I didn't mean to shoot him. I yeah, know. of course. It's crazy back there. Kid acted stupid. Uh, uh. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Well, what did she want us to do? Just leave a couple of teenagers to the walkers? That's exactly what she should have done. Oof. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Okay. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Sure. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. True. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna give him food. Because he's sick as well, right? <sighs> Here, Larry. I'm gonna give you jerky. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Um, oh, I can keep for myself. At least there isn't a timer for this choice. I would be so, yeah. I've learned from this that I'm not good at making decisions under pressure. Under pressure. Da, 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 da. I don't know the lyrics to that song, but anyway, yeah, uh, I'm gonna some give of these it to someone. Have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah. Mm, okay. Let me think. I've got Mark. Um. Got Kenny Kutcher. This guy. Hmm. Carly Lily. I'm gonna give it to Carly first. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to her. Want something to eat? Have an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds and six almonds. But you know what? Yes. Okay. Oh, I just spawned. Not such an easy job, is it? Nope. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Ooh. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Yeah. It's definitely... Well... Ken! Lee! Come here, please. It's all about tough choices, huh? He didn't huh? make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ooh. Come back, there's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. It's a... What I, about the other yeah. kid? It's a gunshot wound. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, was he beaten? What? Oh, I see. Oof! <laughs> I'm 
Okay. 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 That man so, you brought, I yeah. tried. But he was never going to survive. I meant to... I meant to problem. survive. Okay, okay. What about Ooh. the other kid? Uh... Ah! Second time's the try? The axe. Hurry. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Let me click, let me click, let me click! me use the s to get back away okay okay okay, okay. oh 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 shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit shoot it Oof. Oof. you okay yep. yeah thanks Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Well... There was something. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. It's not? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. Oh. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Ah. Uh, Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. That's how it started for them. Back I off! see. Ooh. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Hmm. Might be a good- Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Yeah. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Do we have that much gas though? Right. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hmm. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. It is, huh? Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Oh, why? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. No way. Not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Yeah. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Yeah. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Um... It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. 
Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure yes, that is fair enough. But yeah, maybe you're right. There is the problem. Over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I guess. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where uh -oh. are you from? Uh... I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? Uh, democracy. We work as a group, all of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh. Oh. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Don't think Who? haven't noticed. Those look like the people who Calm raided down, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's all to yourselves. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Ooh. <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Wow! Asshole. World out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Don't tell them you have truth. Oh, okay. I'll try to remember that, Brembo. Hmm. Yeah, I had suspicions about them. Like something about them didn't feel right. I guess. Yeah. You've given me a hint, huh? <laughs> Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. I thought. Oh, okay. We kept this I place guess so that's safe. fair enough. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. I feel like they might be people that eat people. You know. Uh... Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, we work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. <laughs> that feels so oof. Uh... Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's True. right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow Maybelle. is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the no. day. No, no, well, no, no, no. How about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Uh, It'll the be way nice she's saying it, though. Folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? 
Uh, Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Yeah, I don't know. Mark, they, uh... Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? I don't know. Let's make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Yeah. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay. Oof. Alright. Oh, okay. So I'm here. Well, that's not something. <laughs> this. <laughs> this light kind of looks like one of these. So I thought I could click this here. Look. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, how did it break? break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Did we just review that we've got kids? <laughs> I, I feel like that might be a uh, story problem there. Use gate. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Okay, just like how you're at the post. Uh, look at how. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully, we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know. They. <sighs> they really seem like, or not seem like, but. Pointy. I feel like they are the kind that looks so kind of perfect on the outside, but there's like a deeper secret behind them yeah and i feel like that deeper secret is that they eat people for some reason i don't know something about them just makes me think that way this is too big right now but if i can find something to cut it down to size this might make a good seat for the swing so i'm not gonna what i'm not gonna fix the swing now Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. I guess. Okay. This is Andy. Can I use the gate to go in? Hmm. Let's talk to Andy first. Oh, wait. See, the thing is, I'm scared that I will trigger something else, right? Or the next part before I can do anything. Or rather, explore finish. Fi explore finish? Finish exploring. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when so he where's first your bought dad? this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. 
He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could wow. have. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> okay. she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Ooh, okay. He's selling it a bit too hard. Like, there has to be some flaws, right? This rope is perfect for the swing. What? Why? Okay. I'm not going to comment. I guess I'm supposed to mm, fix the swing. Preserves. I can hardly wait for dinner. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Uh, how many rooms, how many rooms in this house? This house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Uh, it looks custom, custom built. built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Ooh. <laughs> when will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family holding How's up? How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him <laughs> Okay. Uh, the family's done sure. an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Okay, I guess that's f oh. Oh, you're right. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> okay, so I can't explore the house. And I feel like maybe they... Yeah, eating their stuff? I don't know. Okay, for some reason, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I keep thinking it. Yeah. Them being, um. What do you call people that eat people? No, it's not carnivores. Uh. Those people. I keep thinking. Cannibal, yes. <laughs> Cannibals, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was close. Uh, they both start with C. Yeah, but like, yeah, I keep feeling like they are cannibals for some reason. I don't know. It's something setting off my alarm bells. Just everything seems just too perfect, you know? Yeah. Can't say anything here because spoiler. All right, all right. Hi. Don't say anything. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Um. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we're really only using them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Okay... An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. 
We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Wow. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. Mm. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Okay. Found out that other survivors. All right. What happened to them? I guess it's fair. It's. Yeah, people would just move on, right? And not that something happened to them on the farm. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah, we never know. Okay. I... Hmm, guess I can go on for a little bit longer. It's saving now though. I wonder when's the next save point. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't well. be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, alright? I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. <laughs> I guess. Oh, There's an one. arrow. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come Gotta on, make sure, it right? Okay. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Ah, uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Yeah, hope he was. Uh, it doesn't matter. Looks like he's stuck. Stuck? Oh, to the arrow. Okay. Disgusting. Why am I doing all the work? Come on, Why isn't sure the other guy doing anything? More. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Uh, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> yeah, Maybe right. I am doubting. There's another one. I see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that this pose is kind of funny. Oh, this is gruesome though. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Mm, I don't know. Come on, 
I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled Probably. up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> oh, is he gonna be the next one? Oh, please not. He's just standing there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Holy fuck! Oh shoot! Happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh! Ah! I told you what would happen, you son of a what bitch! What the? Hell? Get to the gate. <laughs> Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We what? had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Um. Okay, we push, I guess. Give us the food. Food. We had an agreement. Now you're An agreement. Trying to lure me to the open. Get down. Get to deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's owed. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Okay, I still can't move. Can this, this is up. What about our arrangement? Arrangement? Oh, that. Okay. Come on, now. Come on. If we I can reach him. the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! There is oh, shit <laughs> food, you asshole. Okay. So they made a deal with bandits. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. I see him. I'll fuck you, strong bitches up. Okay. Where do you think you're now going? You, you, you. you assholes. Another one there. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Damn! Tree? The tractor. They called them bandits. Give us the Get food! Oh. Uh, I guess that works. You okay? Yeah. Uh, Did you really think you fuck Come on. With us? The gate's right okay. there. Okay, it's what chasing after us. Oh no. Oh no. Don't think I can't see ya. Can't lure me to the Oh. Shh. What? Okay. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. All right. Oh. Whoops. Clicked off. The game. All right. Uh, another one. How many of those things did we push down? The okay. 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 I gotta move faster, maybe. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay. Nice. You okay? Go, go, yeah. go, go, go. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Don't think I can't see you. You really think you can fuck with us? Oh, I'm not supposed to. Ah, uh, get caught. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. We can't close the gate. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, 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 the electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. 
Oh, my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out, but god damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God so what damn it. happened? Carly said they this stopped. Place was locked down tight. Uh. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, You're we may lying. have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Oh, we're bringing Candace, the fight to are them. You serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Not what sure about that. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, Take this place there, over. Rambo. No, 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 nice no, no. people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, <laughs> that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? <laughs> Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay, that's fair enough. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just oh, like at my no. treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. <gasps> Ooh, I don't know about that. Okay. Okay. Guess we can continue to, uh... They're storing gasoline all over the property. Check out the definitely area. definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Yeah. I wonder if it's on purpose, right? The uh, turning on the electrical fence. That thing keeps a fence electrified. But what? Mm, what I'm trying to think is like, what's the advantage of doing that I guess while we're out there? We weren't touching this thing when it came on. Oh, they're talking with each other back there, huh? Uh, look at saw, look at board. Look at picket fence. Mailbox. No mail coming in or out these days. <laughs> of course. Worry about bill collectors anymore. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, they are having fun though. Can we talk to them? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Not sure about it, but... It would have been a lot worse. Yeah, true. Are you true. going to find the people who hurt Mark? Man, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. <laughs> Thank you. I've actually had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think what of, you the think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, okay. It does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? 
I have no idea. I'm not sure. sure Clem. I hope so. I hope so too. Gotta give her at least a little hope, right? I... Yeah, I don't want to tell her that. I don't think that's right. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Can I talk to Kenny? Oh. Wow. Okay. I had to walk around, huh? Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's Provided the it holds There's out. There's no more gas. There's no more fence. Yeah. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around. And let me know if you find anything else. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I guess, uh... Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. Yeah. I'll see what I can find out. There's definitely something else that they're not telling us. Look at them conspiring over there. <laughs> okay. Uh I'm not sure if it will save actually or how to save. Did it save? I'm guessing it did, right? I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that this will save as where it is and we can just resume it next week. Because yeah, I think I'm going to call it here for a bit. Um, yeah, it's getting late and i'm getting pretty hungry them talking about dinner really didn't help <laughs> i'm pretty much as hungry as uh lee i guess because i didn't eat as well as in lee didn't eat i gave all the food away so yeah i think i'll call it here Whew. all right uh thank you for watching them thanks for hanging out uh brambo uh, yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for lurking, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. I, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go. Hope you have a good one as well, uh, Brambo. Have a fantastic one.